I said we needed to go get him, and we did. Miles Rice has committed to the Indiana Hoosiers. You are Locked On Hoosiers, your daily podcast on the Indiana Hoosiers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome in. It is the Lockdown Hoosiers podcast. I'm your man, Jacob Goins. I appreciate you being here, making this your first listen each and every day. Happy Monday. What'd you think about that new intro, huh? It's pretty awesome. If it's new to you, go and check out some of the later episodes. But for you everydayers, little change there. We appreciate you being here. Sounds great, isn't it? I love it so, so much. Happy Monday. So much to go over on the show today. Appreciate you being here on Locked on Hoosiers. Today's episode is brought to you by LinkedIn. These days, every new potential hire can feel like a high stakes wager for your small business. That's why LinkedIn Jobs helps find the right people for your team faster and for free. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. Terms and conditions apply. Indiana has been active in the transfer portal. They've been going after guys left and right, calling on people, trying to get them on campus, trying to get somebody to commit. And we've been waiting, we've been begging, we've been pleading for somebody to finally commit to this team. And it happened over the weekend. And it could be one of the biggest ones of the offseason. Miles Rice has committed to the Indiana Hoosiers. I told you we had to go after him. Indiana needed this guy on our team, and we got him. We'll talk about all of that today, what he will bring. Is he the point guard of the future for this team? Plus, is there more coming for Indiana? Is this the first domino to fall, to use the the the, the reference as old as time? Is this the first domino to truly fall in the transfer portal for the Hoosiers and Mike Woodson. All of that on the show today. Miles Rice, who is one of the highest rated transfer portal players in the country in the cycle right now, ranked at number 15 in the portal, one of the highest rated guards in the transfer portal as well. Your Pac-12 freshman of the year, who was a redshirt freshman at Washington State, six foot two point guard, three years of eligibility remaining, has committed to the Indiana Hoosiers. Folks, I cannot tell you how big this is. And, and you know, I know you've been reading and listening and watching and learning and all of this stuff over the last couple of weeks, especially here on Locked on Hoosiers, about what Miles Rice could potentially bring. And Look, it's been a while, and we've reached out to a ton of people, and we've had so many episodes here of here's this guy, and here's this guy, and here's what they'll bring, and here's why we're waiting, and hopefully something happens. And we knew that this past weekend was a really big weekend. There were guys on campus. There were numerous visits. We still have some scheduled. So we were hoping, and I was trying to hint at you a little bit on Friday, that this weekend had potential to be a big one. And again, I don't think we're done. We'll get to that as we go. But Miles Rice committing is finally that chance for all of us, the coaching staff, maybe even some of the players, especially the fans, to just uh, kind of breathe for a second, right? Because we were starting to stress a little bit. You started seeing some of our targets commit elsewhere, go to other places, not really hearing a whole lot here in Bloomington. And then finally, one of the major targets for us and other big programs as well, including Auburn, Miles Rice commits to the Indiana Hoosiers. This is a huge win. This is a huge win for so many reasons. You look at the stats of Miles Rice from a year ago. He was only 27% from three, which is not great, but we'll get to that in a second. 51% from two and 81% from the free throw line. He also averaged 15 points, four assists, and three rebounds a game. As a red shirt freshman who became freshman of the year. Again, 15 points, four assists, and three rebounds. That's really effective for your point guard. I would like to see the assist number be a little bit more, and I think that's going to be the case here in Bloomington. Again, that's coming up as we go. But 15 points a game, that's great. His three-point shooting, not so great. Two-point shooting, great. And free-throw shooting is fantastic. Those are the things we need out of our point guard. 
and he was the freshman of the year in the Pac-12, man. This guy can play. He also took Washington State to the NCAA tournament and won them a game in the NCAA tournament. And when you watch him play, his style is going to fit our system perfectly. Yes, he can score. Yes, he's aggressive, but he's a team player. He gets people involved, and he's not a give me the ball and get out of the way. He's not that selfish type of player. He's just not, I don't think. Just from watching him, I just don't think that's the type of guy he is. He was third in scoring on his own team, which is what you want your point guard to be. A good, in my opinion, a good college basketball team is not led by their point guard in scoring. And and I know the NBA is kind of different and has been for a while, but in college basketball, a point guard alone typically cannot win you championships. Not saying it can't happen, but if your point guard is leading you in points, you typically are going to have a hard time. Miles Rice is not going to walk into Indiana and be your leading scorer. And if he is, again, I think we have issues. But all that's coming up. This is a win. Mike Woodson should celebrate. The coaching staff should celebrate. You, the fan, should celebrate. And I told you we needed him, and we got him. And that's just one. I don't think we're done. I think this is going to be a ripple effect, like throwing the rock in the pond. You're going to see one after the other after the other. And you begin to fill these roster spots that we've been so worried about the last couple of weeks to where now you have a little more ammunition. You have a little bit more momentum when you step in and when you bring some of these guys on campus like we had this weekend. And it says, okay, look, here's what was coming. Here's what's coming back. Here's what's coming in from high school. And now here's what's coming in through the transfer portal. Don't you want to be a part of this? Isn't this a place that you want to be with Miles Rice, with the older guys like Trey Galloway, with a Malik Renew, a McKenzie and Baco, a Bryson Tucker as a high school recruit, right? Aren't these guys that you want to play with? Can't you see the potential of what this roster is going to be? Those are all selling points for other transfer portal players. And I think that's exactly what's happening right now as we speak. But overall, Miles Rice commits to the Indiana Hoosiers. This is a major win, the first big portal addition for Mike Woodson and the Indiana Hoosiers in this offseason, and I don't think we're done. Could we see more? But a question about Miles Rice that I want to pose to you that we'll talk about next, is he the point guard of the future with three years of eligibility? I think he could be. We'll talk about that coming up next on Locked on Hoosiers. Today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers is brought to you by LinkedIn Jobs. Look, when you're hiring for your small business, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. LinkedIn isn't just another job board. LinkedIn helps you hire professionals you can't find anywhere else, even those who aren't ready already actively searching for a job but might be open to the perfect role. In a given month, over 70% of LinkedIn users don't visit other leading job sites. So if you're not looking on LinkedIn, you're looking in the wrong place. LinkedIn knows that small businesses are wearing so many hats and look, just might not have time or the resources to hire. But two and a half small businesses use LinkedIn for hiring right now. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. That's linkedin.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back into Lockdown Hoosiers. Appreciate you being here, making this your first listen each and every day. If you like the stuff here on YouTube, be sure you like the video. It helps share it, gets it out to your family, friends, all the other Hoosier fans in the world. Plus, subscribe to the channel. It's free. It's easy. Takes one tap. We're on our way, folks. Let me give you an up-to-date count as we are here right now. We are pushing towards 2,200 subscribers, 2,187 on YouTube. You guys have been crushing it. So if you're new here, want to subscribe, or if you've been coming back every day and haven't become a part of the family, please do so. If you're on audio, you can follow there, you can subscribe there, and you can turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode of Locked on Hoosiers. Miles Rice commits to Indiana, the six foot two point guard from Washington State. 
with three years of eligibility remaining, I ask you this question. Could he be the point guard of the future? Absolutely. Yes, he can be, and I think that he will be. I think he's that good, and I think he has potential to get even better. Now, here's where we bring in the question, and I know some of you get upset when I start talking about this, and look, I apologize, but you have to question Mike Woodson and the coaching staff as of right now on their development of some guards. Can Miles Rice get better by coming to Indiana? He obviously believes he can, right? He believes that he can get better here or else he wouldn't have committed here. He wouldn't have given the rest of his career, which he technically doesn't have to be here as the rest of his career, but you see what I'm saying. He feels comfortable enough to come to Indiana to be a part of the Hoosiers and hope to get better because ultimately everybody wants to get to the NBA. I mean, that's what these guys are here to do is get better, win championships, and move on to play in the NBA. So he trusts the coaching staff already. Now we got to see if it works. But if he does come here, and if he does get better, which I think that will happen, he will be your point guard of the future. How long will he be here? I don't know. I'm hoping at least two years. He has eligibility up to three. So hopefully he comes in is a two-year starter, and then he gets so good that the NBA comes calling and he takes off and makes millions of dollars. But before that, while he's here, I think he can make you that much better. I think he's that good of a leader. I think he's that good of a scorer. I think he's just that good of a player. And sure, there are things he needs to get better at. Like I said earlier, I would like to see his assist numbers go from four to six or seven. As a point guard, that's what you need to do. He doesn't turn the ball over a ton, which is good. Um, but I want to see those assist numbers climb a little bit in case, or not even in case, when it happens, when we're playing in the Big Ten, which is just so different now anyway, when some of those bigger senior guards get on him and maybe put a little bit of pressure on him, which he was just fine in the Pac-12, but that's a little bit different ball game now. I want him to have other options. I want him to have other skill sets of getting guys involved and helping the Hoosier score. And that's a big part of what Miles Rice is going to bring to this squad. He can score and he can generate offense, something we have not been able to do in the last couple of seasons, well, really just this past season, it was abysmal. So Miles Rice brings that to you instantly the day he walks in the door in the practice facility. He brings you more offense through his own hands and through generating it from other guys. He also needs to be able to shoot the three a little bit better. And I know that's something that probably concerns some of you when it comes to him committing and fitting into the current roster already that's not the best three-point shooting team. It wasn't great last year. It was one of the worst in the country. And you haven't brought in a whole lot to fix that just yet. I don't think that's Miles Rice's – that's not really his responsibility, if that's the best way to put that. Um, you want him to be able to shoot, and you want him to shoot better, and I think he will, and I hope that Indiana helps develop him on that. But he doesn't have to be a 40% three-point shooter. I would like to see it get up to 30 as a guard. I think you should be able to shoot at some point just to have that threat, right? Just to have that in your back pocket. Again, if the defense pressures you or they switch on a ball screen and they leave you open, yeah, have the ability to knock it down, to make them pay, or if it's into the shot clock and he's got the ball in his hands, which I think he'll be your one of your primary ball handlers, that way he's got that in his bag. And they have to at least respect it from the point guard. But the things that he does really well, he's going to handle the basketball, something I just brought up. Something that Indiana really struggled to find this past year was their primary ball handler. Sometimes it was Xavier Johnson. Sometimes it was Trey Galloway. Sometimes it was Gabe Cups. Sometimes it was McKenzie and Baco or whoever just go grabbed the basketball and brought it up the floor. I think you bring in Miles Rice to say, hey, give me the basketball and I'm going to set up the offense. Not so much get out of the way, but let me bring it across half court. Let me get through the full court pressure. Let me get the call from Mike Woodson and the staff on the sideline, and then we go. That's what you're bringing in for your point guard of the future. You're bringing in the floor general point guard who can still score, put it on the deck, and get to the rim. And guess what? 
he's going to make his free throws. He's an 81% free throw shooter. This is a huge win. And you bring in a guy that elevates the roster immediately, especially on the offensive end. Is he a liability on defense? No, not by any means. Is he a, I guess, a lockdown defender? No, but I think he's got a chance to get better on that end. But that's not really why you brought him in. As long as he can hold his own, he'll be fine. He's also six foot two, so size is fine. I mean, again, point guards are starting to get bigger as the years go on, but six foot two is nothing to stress about. I think we're totally fine there. But you do have to go find shooters. You have to go find some guys that can shoot the basketball. And I think we're doing that. Believe me, I think we had guys on campus this weekend and guys that are coming up the next couple of weeks that are shooters. And that's not going to be Miles Rice's responsibility. You just want him to have that ability just in case, right? Just in case they he gets in that spot because he's going to at some point, again, end of shot clock or they leave him alone or a busted play or whatever the case may be, you want him to have that ability. But overall, man, I'm really excited about this, and I hope you are as well, and I think you are. I just think that he is he's such a good, good player, man. And look, the assistant coaches on this on this staff are to thank for this. They really, really are. And you see here, Rosemond uh, is, is the guy who really brought him home for for Miles Rice. And so you look at what the roster is as of right now, this recording, okay? Trey Galloway. Anthony Leal, Malik Renu, Ja'Kai Newton, which I know we're not talking about enough. That's a big guy that's still here. Remember, don't forget Ja'Kai Newton, okay? Gabe Cups, Mackenzie Mbaco, and now Miles Rice and Bryson Tucker. Rice, of course, from the portal, and Tucker from high school recruiting. So you're starting to get there, right? How many is that? You got two, four, six, eight. You got eight guys. So you're starting to check off on the list. You're starting to fill in those spots. I don't think we're done. As big as Miles Rice was, and as much as we could celebrate that, and as much as you and I could be excited about that, this coaching staff cannot stop. They cannot be done. They cannot celebrate too hard and then have a hangover effect. And I don't think they will. I think they've done a really, really good job. I have continuously praised Mike Woodson and this staff this offseason about the number of guys they have reached out to and talked to. Miles Rice was the key. They got him. They put a ton of time and effort into him, and it worked. And I think they're doing that with a lot more players as we speak right now. I want to talk about some more of those potential players that Indiana could still see come in, guys that are visiting, guys that are coming up to visit, guys that are in the rotation, just players that Indiana continues to reach out to and work for because they understand how important this is. Mike Woodson knows this is do or die right now. And I think you're seeing that in his efforts in the transfer portal. We'll talk about that in our final segment coming up on Locked on Hoosiers. Today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers is brought to you by FanDuel. Look, it's playoff time in the NBA, in the NHL, baseball. The season is in full swing and FanDuel is your best place to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. That's $150 bucks win or lose. Bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. What are you waiting for? Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and make your first bet an automatic win. That's FanDuel.com slash L-O-C-K-E-D-O. And FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Final segment here on Lockdown Hoosiers. Appreciate you being here, making this your go to spot. Shout out to the everydayers, those of you that are here every single day and truly do make this your first listen each and every day. Before we get to our final segment, want to inform you, and you may have already heard about it, but Locked On is having its NFL Mock Draft live show coming up this week. That's Wednesday, April 17th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, streaming on Locked On Sports Today, the 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. Find the ultimate six-episode series on April 17th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time to hear who the local Locked On experts are picking for every NFL franchise 
with live reactions from local college football experts and even the fantasy football angle. The Locked On NFL Mock Draft on April 17th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, streaming live on Locked On Sports Today's 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. So if you're into the big NFL draft stuff, fantasy-wise, college-wise, whatever, all of our Locked On folks are going to be there and chiming in and giving their information. So really, really cool. Check that out this Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Well, I know Indiana's gotten Miles Rice, and I don't want to shake this off, and I don't want to move on too quickly, but what else could be coming for Indiana? I'm telling you, we ain't done. We're not done yet here when it comes to Miles Rice and really when it comes to the transfer portal and a guy that I'm hoping that we get to do numerous episodes on. We had one late last week. I hope we can continue to do some on this guy. Yeah, it's Umar Ballo. This guy is a stud. I gave you a whole episode about how big he is, not just in his size, but how important he is. And here's some p- key information. The Hoosiers picked up a crystal ball for him over the weekend. And he's the number one ranked player in the country. And he's on a visit this weekend. He was just on, he's here right now with a visit in Bloomington. And I'm hearing some really good things about it. I'm hearing really, really good things about this visit, and he's already picking up crystal ball predictions to pick the Indiana Hoosiers. He's the number one ranked player in the country in the transfer portal right now is the center from Arizona. He's seven foot, 260 pounds. Problem, he only has the one year of eligibility, but who cares? Bring him in and let him dominate for a year. Who cares if he's going to be here for a year or four? Bring him in and instantly elevate your roster right now. I think Indiana's trying to do that because you just lost a seven-footer. You just lost one to the NBA. Why not bring in another one? You just lost Khalil Ware. Why not bring in Umar Ballo, who is going to play a completely different style than Khalil Ware did. Ballo is big, physical, strong, where he's going to grab a bunch of rebounds, be a massive defensive presence, which I know Khalil Ware was. Believe me, he had some major volleyball spike blocks in his day here in Bloomington. But he was more of the give me the ball, let me finesse and kind of throw it up type of way and kind of the hook shot, the floaters, all that type of thing. That's not going to be Ballo. He's got that in his bag, but he's going to just throw lower his shoulder, throw it into you and be physical and then yam it in your face. That's what Umar Ballo is going to do. And you talk about a guy that could really, really elevate your offense. Imagine this. Imagine what we saw a year ago that I said we should have done more of, the pick and roll between either Trey Galloway, Xavier Johnson, and Khalil Ware, Malik Renu. Imagine that pick and roll, but with Miles Rice, the Pac-12 freshman of the year, and Umar Ballo, the 13-point-a-game seven-footer, from Arizona. Oh, tell me that doesn't sound fantastic. Tell me that doesn't sound wonderful. Hot pick and roll. Here comes Miles Rice. He gets about halfway in the lane and just throws it up. Throws it up and runs away. And here comes Ballo. He grabs it and just yams it on somebody. Gets the foul. Gets the end one. Assembly Hall goes insane. And Indiana's up by 13 on Purdue. Can't you feel it, Hoosier fans? Can't you see what we're talking about here, those things could be possible when you start bringing in high-level guys. And again, I cannot express this enough. Credit to the Indiana staff. They're not just going after the Belmont transfers of the world, and I'm not throwing shade at them, but you hear what I'm saying, the mid-major transfers. And some of those guys are really good, and there are some steals and sneaky good players from those programs. But the Hoosiers are going after power six players. Washington State, Arizona, Kentucky, going after the biggest programs in the country and saying, yeah, we want you, we want you, and we want you. And so far, it seems to be successful. You've got Miles Rice from Washington State. You're in a really good spot with Umar Ballo, which it's still not a done deal. Let me just say that too. That's not a done deal by any means. But you're making a ton of progress here. And you're going after the biggest names in the portal. He's the number one ranked guy in the transfer portal right now. And he's being predicted. And there's some good things being said about him coming to Bloomington. That's what you want to see. And you start bringing in big guys like that. 
then I think this fan base, you, the fan, are going to start getting excited again because I, I, most people I just feel like kind of bought out last season. This will get you bought back in. And this is the exciting time. And guess what? This is the world we live in. This is college basketball, college athletics at its peak is the transfer portal. This is what it's all about. This is how you make your team better immediately. Take advantage of it. You may not like it. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it is what it is, and it ain't going anywhere. So you may as well buy into it, and you may as well do it too because everybody else is a part of it. Indiana is. Indiana is very active, not just Umar Ballo, but so many other good players that we've had great, great conversations about, right? This list of, of so many guys, Amari Williams still on there, Connor Hickman still on there, Cannon Carlisle still on there, which I think that one may be, may be a little bit lower since you do bring in Miles Rice, but you never know. But some big names when you got visits because Carlisle's still coming on a visit as of right now. Amari Williams still coming on a visit. Connor Hickman, you had visits and was on a visit this past weekend. So you have good things happening in the portal. You really, really do. And that first commitment came. Just keep your head up, Hoosier fans. Stay positive because this is exciting, and I think it's only going to get better from here. And I really think by the time this thing is said and done between recruiting and transfer portal, this roster is going to be where it needs to be. This roster is going to be much better than what it was two weeks ago. Then it comes down to the season. Then it comes down to coaching and execution, which are things we worry about October, November, and beyond. Be excited. It's portal season, baby. Be excited about it because the Hoosiers are extremely active right now in the transfer portal. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode of Locked on Hoosiers. I appreciate you being here, making this your first listen each and every day. If you have not liked the video already, please do that. Comment down below your reactions to Miles Rice, other guys in the portal. What do you think about Indiana right now in the transfer portal, what the roster looks like currently as we speak? Plus, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free. It's easy. It just helps us grow. That's all it's doing for us, and we appreciate you doing that. All my audio listeners, I appreciate you as well. Share it around. Send it to your family and friends. If they're not video people, send them the audio. I'm sure they'd love to listen to that too. Follow there. Hit the notification so you never miss a new episode. This has a potential to be a big, big week for Hoosier fans. I'm just letting you know. So be sure you're following along right here on Locked on Hoosiers. Free and available wherever you get your podcast. Have a great Monday. Until tomorrow, Hoosier fans, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later.